your kids getting on your nerves like mine do? Well, I guess that means it's time for a date night. Stay tuned because I'm going to tell you about some of my favorite places in Bernie, Texas to go out on a date. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of Serving San Antonio. I'm Christine Johnson with Fathom Realty. Today I want to tell you about some of my favorite places to go on a date night in Bernie, Texas. First up is La Casada at Tapatio Springs. Now if you don't know, Tapatio Springs is a golf course and resort and spa, but it's also owned by the one and only George Strait himself. I got a salad, my husband got a steak, my friend also got a salad. We actually like salads, by the way. We don't do it for certain other reasons, people think. I actually really enjoy salad. The steaks can be a little bit pricey. The salads are about 15 bucks. I think you have to maybe pay a little upcharge to add meat or fish, but that's usually a typical thing in any restaurant that you go to. What I really like about the place is that they have a really beautiful outdoor seating and you can go out and have a drink, sit by the fireplace, hang out, or if it's too hot, you can sit inside and it's really nice inside too. Also, if you wanna go for breakfast or brunch, I believe you can go there as well. I have not tried that, but I do believe I saw something that there is an option for that, so check that out as well. Number two on the list, Botero or Bot Botero, Botero. I really hate trying to pronounce things in Spanish because I really get embarrassed and I'm probably turning red just talking about it, but people are correcting me on what I'm saying on my videos, so I'm at least gonna give it a try, okay? Anyways, this restaurant is one of my favorite little hidden gems in Bernie. Not everyone likes getting tapas because it's little small plates, but it's actually a really fun thing to do with a group of friends. So if you have some friends that are looking to go out for a night and they don't have their kids either, you might wanna check out this place because you can order a bunch of things. Don't ask me what I had, couldn't tell you. Pretty sure I couldn't even pronounce it on the menu. I just pointed and hoped it was something good. And I will say it was. So the place gets busy and it's not a very big place. I'm not sure if they take reservations, but I would call and check that out first. Uh, if not, get there early. But the music was really great and it's that small that we got to interact with him. So it's always neat when you get to interact with the singers. Now, let me tell you my favorite thing about this place. I go here more for this than I do for the food, and here's why. I love their sangria. So they have regular sangria, and then they have a lavender sangria. I can't decide which one I like the best. Each time I go in, I just kind of pick which one. But you can go in there and get one to go. And what do I mean by that? They put the sangria in this bag that looks like a little Capri Sun, and you can take it, and you can leave and walk around and go walk Bernie and do some shopping. So. We all know what happens when you drink and you shop. You have a lot more fun and you spend a lot more money. But yes, you can carry an alcoholic beverage in downtown Bernie. Number three, the Richter. Now, the Richter is one that I just recently went to and I actually really love the environment. It's, you gotta walk upstairs to it, it's really cool, just the building itself. And when you walk in to the right, they have this outdoor patio with a bar and to the left, they have the indoor seating. Now, the menu is a little bit tricky because it has like a variety of a lot of things. So the things that we got when we went, now this was with another couple, so we didn't eat all this ourselves. We got the charcuterie board, the shishito peppers, which are the best. Then we got two pizzas, one of us got a steak, and then we've got a roll of sushi. The pizza was good, the steak was good. Prices, um, middle prices you'll probably spend, depending on if you drink. I will tell you they have a really good cocktail menu, so if you like fancy drinks, that is the place to check out. Now, I'm a laid back person, I don't like fancy, but I'll still go to fancy. So this one, number four, is Peggy's on the Green. Peggy's on the Green, I actually really enjoy their food. I would recommend sitting in the bar area, it's more casual, but then you can also go into the dining area. They have a really good seared wild caught salmon and cheesy potatoes. The Steaks, on the other hand, they run between about $55 to $100, so steaks can be a little bit pricey, but if you like steak, just be prepared to spend a little bit more, but it'll be really good, I promise. And last, number five, the creek. The creek sits on Cibolo Creek, right downtown Bernie. You can see the creek from the outside patio dining, and I highly recommend sitting out there, but full disclosure, I have not been here. The reason this is on my list is because anytime you ask somebody about date night places or where they've been lately, this one always comes up. They have beautifully displayed food. They have a really beautiful patio with a gorgeous view. I mean, it's definitely worth checking out if you're looking for something a little bit more fancy and you haven't been out in a while. And to follow that up, Bernie closes at 10. 10 o'clock, done, everything closes. I highly recommend not getting there any later than 7.30.
All that being said, there is one place that is open past 10 o'clock in Bernie, and that is Free Rome Brewing Company. Free Rome has great beer, it has wine. If you don't like beer, you won't be able to get any liquor there, but it's a really great atmosphere. It has outside seating, inside seating, and on the weekends they have bands. So go over, check out the live music, keep enjoying your date night, and they also have food trucks there, so if you decide you're still hungry, you can still get food there. Bernie, Texas is one of my favorite places and I highly recommend you check it out. If you haven't been, if you have any questions, please call, text, or email me, whichever way. Send me an IM through, do they still say IM? Through Facebook, Instagram, DM, whatever they call it. Happy to help you whatever you're looking for. I'm always around. And while you're watching this, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. And other than that, thanks for watching another episode of Serving San Antonio. I'll see you next time.